Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of geometry, specifically how we can draw two dimensional shapes with given attributes and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So one thing we might be asked to do in second grade is to draw a shape with only some descriptions. So let's say you have an assignment from your teacher and you are supposed to draw a shape that has three sides and three vertices. Now the sides are the straight lines that make up the shape. The vertices are the corners. That's another way to think of it. Well, most of you can know that we're going to be drawing a triangle. So let's go ahead and just draw that triangle. But you also need to realize that there are many different types of triangles. This is an equilateral triangle. It's got the very close to the word equal in there because it, all three sides and all three angles inside are the same. So if you have a triangle that's kind of skinny like this, it doesn't have to be skinny, but sometimes you see it like this, and you can tell that two sides are the same, but that other side is either longer or shorter, uh, that's what we call an isosceles triangle. So an isosceles triangle only has two sides the same. And then sometimes you'll just get a really kind of strange triangle that just doesn't look like it, any of the sides match. And that's called a scalene. It means none of the sides are the same like that. None of the angles inside are inside, are the same as, as either. So when you've got four sides and you've got four vertices, well, you've got all different kinds of options here. So if you wanted to draw a four-sided shape, probably most of us can uh, draw a square. You notice the square has got all four sides the same. Just like the equilateral triangle has all three sides the same, the square's got all four sides the same. But you could also draw kind of an extended square. And we know that as a rectangle. It's a rectangle because it's got four sides. And just like the square, each of the corners are what we call perpendicular or right angle. It's a square corner, straight up and straight across. And the sides are parallel to each other. So this side right here is running just alongside the bottom side. And if you extend these two sides forever, they will never touch. Just like if you were to do the two sides over here, if you were to extend those sides forever, they would always stay the same distance apart. You've got another shape that you probably are familiar with. It looks like it's a rectangle, but kind of tilted or slanted. And that's a parallelogram. That's a big word. But the parallelogram, just think of that word parallel now, means right here. So look at these. This top side is parallel with this bottom side because if you extend them forever, they would never touch. Same with these two slanted sides. If you extended those forever, they would never touch. That's what parallel means. Then a, another one that we can look at would be a trapezoid. So the difference with the trapezoid, once again, you've got a four-sided shape but you only have one set of parallel lines. The top and the bottom are parallel, but these two sides would touch. And then finally, we need to always remember our rhombus. So the rhombus uh, can take many different shapes. All four sides are equal, just like the square. And we have parallel lines, just like the parallelogram. Only difference is, is the inside angles are not square angles. They're not perpendicular or right angles. So this is a rhombus. Finally, let's look at a few more shapes. If we want to draw a shape that's got five sides and vertices, we can think of that as either, sometimes we draw it like a house with a square in the bottom triangle on top, or home base if you play baseball. But that's a pentagon because pent means Five. So five-sided shapes are called pentagons. If we have six-sided shapes, those are going to be called hexagon. One way to remember the, the word hexagon means six is because they both have the letter X in there. But a six-sided shape is going to look kind of like our next shape, the octagon. So you have to start counting the sides. So this has got a six-sided shape. Our eight-sided shape is the octagon. So like I said, the more sides you get, the more they kind of start looking the same. So make sure you are always counting the sides, but this is an octagon. And if you have ever seen a stop sign, you have seen an octagon, which has eight sides.